Hi, are you someone who is able to understand the concept of conditional probability fully? Or is it that you know a part of conditional probability but you don't know how to choose the favorable outcome and total outcomes? Why n of s is not taken? Why uh, some a part of uh, sample space is taken? If you are having all these doubts, and this video is definitely for you. And hi everyone, welcome students of our channel Math Logic, and let's uh, discuss today the conditional probability. So what is it? So p of a over b denotes conditional probability of a given that the event b has occurred. Since conditional probability of a is related to the outcome of b, we are using the formula n of a intersection b by n of b. Why we are not using n of s? Generally, we will use, for example, uh, p of a is equal to n of a by n of s, but here we are using n of a intersection b over n of b. Why it is so? So because we are restricting the sample space to b only because the conditional probability of a depends entirely on the happening of b and not anything any other elements of n of s. Therefore, we are using n of b instead of n of s. Next comes the favorable outcomes. Why is it that we use only a intersection b? We know that the sample space in this case is n of b. Therefore, the probability, conditional probability of a cannot be outside b, but it cannot be fully b also because it is a different from b. Therefore, the favorable outcome should include elements common to both a, event a and b to satisfy a as well as b. Therefore, n of a intersection b is taken as the uh, formula for defining the favorable outcomes. Therefore, this formula has come n of a intersection b by n of b. So, it is a pictorial representation. Therefore, to find the n of a intersection b, you have to map the elements of b with the elements of a. Why should we do this reverse way, b with a, because b is the sample space in this case. We have to ensure b with the conditions of a, and so that the conditions of uh, conditional probability are met. So, let us solve one example question and understand it better. A bag contains 4 red, 5 blue, and 6 green balls. So, totally there are 15 balls. Let us defend a, event a. Choosing three balls at random of which two balls should be of the same color. Then what is B? Out of three chosen balls, at least one ball should be of green. Find conditional probability of A given B as a cut. So first let us find out N of S. What is the total balls available? 15 balls. How many balls should be chosen? Three. So it can be done in 15 C three ways. Which C is equal to 455. That is our sample space N of S. And we have now find out n of b. What is n of b? Choosing a green ball. That can be easily done by subtracting n of b complement from n of s. What is n of b complement? Not choosing a green ball. What is not choosing a green ball? Choosing a red or a blue ball. Beautiful. What is the red and blue ball together? We have we have nine red and uh, red and blue balls put together. We have to choose three balls out of that. It is nine c three ways we can do. Therefore, n of b complement is 84 n of b is equal to n of s minus n of b complement, which is equal to 450 minus 85 is equal to 371. Now, let us find out n of a intersection b. We have to map the common events with reference to b. At least one green ball is the condition of event b. So, how many ways can be done? It can all be 3 b green balls, 2 green balls, 1 blue ball, 2 green, 1 red, 1 green, 2 blue, 1 green, 2 red, 1 green, 1 red and 1 blue. However, all these things may not map with event A because event A's constraint or condition is choosing three balls of which two should be of the same color. So, three green balls does not satisfy because all are the same color. So, exclude it. So, T, G and one B, two green and one ball, okay. Two green and one red is okay. One green, two blue, okay. One green, two red, okay. And one green, one red, one blue is not okay because all are in different, different colors. So, the possibilities of A intersection B can be either 2 green or 1 blue, which can be given by 6C to 5C1G75, or 2 green and 1 red, 62 into 4C1, and we are using now, that is why we are using the multiplication say 6C2 multiplied by 4C1G60, 1, 1 green and 2B, 2 blue, 6C1 multiplied by 5C2, which is equal to 60. 1 green and 2 red, 61 multiplied by 4 C2, which is equal to 36. Therefore, we have 4 options. Therefore, we can either choose either of the options we can choose. Therefore, we are using the additional the sign. 
So n of a intersection b is equal to 75 plus 60 plus 60 plus 36 is equal to 231. Therefore, p of a over b, that is the conditional property of a given b as occurred is n of a intersection b by n of b, which is 231 divided by 371. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, students. Have a nice day.